So now it seems like um, everybody's in the know about the zombies. Yes, everybody now is officially in the know. Um, Clive was basically kind of the last guy to really get the get the hint, um, and I think I think he handled it really well. I mean, he obviously put his own relationship on the line to save you know to save Liv's ass. Um, but I think um, I think now that he knows all of us as as uh, characters are going to be hanging out more in, in one space. You know, I think we'll be able to have a safe haven going to Liv's house, um, and I guess Peyton's too because now she's back as roommate. And and having these conversations and kind of game planning. Okay, what are we going to do next? Are we going to let this um, this, this epidemic, this uprising happen, or are we going to keep this a secret for as long as we possibly can? Because they truly don't know how well they're going to be received by humans. I mean, yeah. I would be able to receive them as, you know, regular people still, but that's only because my best friend happens to be a zombie, and so I'm a little biased in that sense. You team zombie. Yeah, right, right. Do you want to become a zombie? Sorry? Do you want to become a zombie? You know, it's funny. I kind of wanted to at the beginning of the show, and now I kind of like being a human. I'm like, you know what? I take being a human for granted. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think... I think it's interesting just to keep certain characters a, hu a human for the entirety of the show, you know, however many seasons we do go, um, instead of everybody kind of turning into a zombie and one part or the other and then getting cured or not. Um, yeah, I, I kind of prefer it that way. Even though it would be fun to do like the contacts, the red eyes, and the blood and stuff, but yeah. Is it going to go back and talk more about the romance and like we're going to get more involved in yes. the season? Um, yeah, we're going to get back to really Peyton deciding, I think, again, which she's kind of been doing since season two right now because of Blaine coming in the picture, who she en ends up actually wanting to be with or wanting to have a real relationship with. I think that her heart definitely says Robbie because there's that friendship, there's that solid rapport that they have. Um, but I think with Blaine, she just happens to be physically attracted to him and I think his charm and the fact that he's kind of a bad boy and very much the opposite type that she's been before, I think that that's intriguing to her. Um, I'm kind of team Robbie, but um, but I really have a lot of fun with, with David Anders and he's a great scene partner, so I can't complain. It's fun to have scenes of both of them, you know, and to see see what the writers end up writing for us. It's it's great. It's nice to be surprised, too, and be like, oh, they're kind of going down this direction now. Now we're changing directions, now it's this way. Will there be some fun competition? Oh yeah, I think I think for sure. Um, I think Robbie is regretting the fact that he didn't go in there and actually save his life. But I think also, you know, he, he's not un undead, and he, he knows that you know he could have gotten could have shot. Um, and I think there was a part of him too um, that that let Blaine take that opportunity and save the day. And I think that was just him also being scared and not knowing what to do and not being the the tough guy. And, and um, so yeah, when you see him kind of watch them have that moment in the race at the end of the, the season, I think he really realizes I maybe I kind of blew it. Um, and there must be some sort of relationship between the two of them because Blaine would have been willing to risk his life for Peyton if she didn't mean something to him. Things you want to see Kate explore. You know, we saw her with the boss story and things like that. What else yeah. do you want to play her for? Have you talked to Robin and Diana? Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting if we saw a little bit of her family. You know, we've never met any of her family, um, parents, and there's a sibling, I don't know. Um, and I think, um, you know, seeing her and, and Liv and Clive work together on some of these cases, you know, we've had a little bit of crossover this past season where, you know, she's handling a case and she thinks that she's on onto the right guy and ends up being wrong. And Liv was right the whole time. Um, so we've seen a little bit of that, but I think we'll see more as the season continues where, you know, she's able to take a case that crosses her desk with a DA and, and help Liv and get information from Liv through her visions. Did you anticipate like that there would be that finale? Did you picture that from the first season to this season? It would change so drastically that not really. I mean, I think we all were just open to whatever the writers were going to, to do um, when it came to that end finale. And I think for us, we were really surprised by how much action there was. We do have action in our show, but 
yeah. it's not every episode, it's like every few episodes, and so we were like, oh, there's like actual like a full on like zombie fight. Um, and so yeah, I think that I think that was the most fun, and the fact that it was kind of gory and you know there was blood and stuff. If you don't have every episode, um, I guess maybe you kind of do with the, the dead bodies, but um, but yeah, I think I think we all were stoked that there was so much action. I mean, I I was just basically kidnapped, so I was like duct taped the whole time. Um, but that was so fun. You know, I was just kind of mute on set that day. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be in the mix. Right. Exactly. Exactly.